Hey there guys, so before this video starts, I just wanted to point out something. I actually filmed it just before World Cup 2020 happened, so any of the results that happened at World Cup aren't really reflected onto this video. But regardless, I want to just make that clear. Nonetheless, I still think it covers a pretty good amount of the top five players, either way of what happened at World Cup. So without further ado guys, let's start the intro. Okay, I want to shoot through your side then. How's it going there guys? Here today sitting down at the table with the list of the top five active pro paintball players in the game today. Now, when I say active players, I want to include just the players that are playing today because I don't want this to turn into a video where we talk about all the greats of the past and it turns into some other Oliver Lang tribute video that we've seen a bunch of times on YouTube over and over and over again. I want to talk about today the top five players who are still playing today, and I don't want to just include the kill count, you know, the biggest fan base and all that jazz. I want to talk about the players who I feel make the most impact on the teams that they're currently on and make more of an impact in the pro division altogether. So without further ado, guys, let's kick it off here at the top five pro paintball players in the game today. Also, before I kick this list off, I wanna mention, if you guys disagree with anybody on this list, please comment below who you think should be included on this list or your own top five list of the top players in the game today. Uh, it might be a little bit biased. I try to include everything that comes into play. So without further ado, let's go. Alrighty guys, so coming into that number five spot, I gotta give it here to Ryan Greenspan of San Diego Dynasty. What? Now, I know this might be a little bit of a controversial one because he hasn't really been, or I should say Dynasty hasn't really been at you know the top level that they always have. They're not always winning every single tournament. <laughs> they're making Sunday, and yeah, they're a really good competing team, but I really do feel like you know Ryan Greenspan uh, recently Hasn't been, you know, the top highlight player and getting all the kill counts and all that jazz. But I got to say, as a seasoned veteran that he is and the paintball IQ that he possesses, it puts him above a lot of players in the pro division just based off of what he knows when it comes to the game of paintball. He's been around and won tournaments and he's played with so many different players and he's seen so many different changes to the game that he has just understood so many different ways to adapt when it comes to paintball. And I really feel like you gotta give it to Ryan Greenspan when it comes to that paintball IQ. Along with that, uh, I feel like with uh, losing Oliver Lang in the past, uh, he had to take on that threshold as being a top leader for Dynasty. Uh, give that your hand to uh, Yosh Rao and Alex Fraji for also filling in the role of being that core group of Dynasty players to keep it together. But I do really feel as being able to compete as a top level athlete still and playing in the game as long as he has, you gotta give this number five spot to Ryan Greenspan of San Diego Dynasty. Alrighty, coming in at number four, I have here Alex Goldman of Edmonton Impact. Now, the reason I got to put him in at the number four spot is because I feel like based off of his sheer speed, and as he says, he's, I think, self-proclaimed one of the fastest players in the pro division, you got to recognize that he does have an insane level of athleticism and is pretty damn fast. He can get to his primaries extremely quick. He has been known as being a really, really high value snake player. And that has proven in the past, signing with top level teams like Iron Man, uh, Infamous, uh, now Impact, he, uh, Damage, he's proven in the past that he's able to be recognized as a high contract player, has a lot of value to bring to a team, uh, and he's able to go out there and just be recognized as a sheer force when it comes to being an athlete in the pro division. And along with that, he has won uh, MVPs in the past, he has uh, championships under his belt. I do think joining Edmonton Impact has given him a little bit of a boost there. However, you got to give this number four spot to the sheer athleticism and the fact that he is so damn fast to Alex Goldman of Edmonton Impact. Alrighty, number three, I have here another Edmonton Impact player, Justin 
grab a cough. Now, the reason I got to give it to Justin, and I heard it in an interview we actually had uh, not too long ago, he does pride himself on his gunfighting abilities. And watching him play over the years and watching it on like the webcast, just seeing, you know, highlight reels, it is proven that he is one of the best gunfighters in the game and in the pro division. I think a lot of people can learn from his sheer ability to compete at that level and knowing that he has the mentality to be one of the best gunfighters, it really does put him in that upper echelon uh, of players. Uh, along with that, he is a very high value player, I think, dating back to when he was on the you know top players with the uh, Russian Legion. He really was able to, I think, fulfill that role of being uh, a sought after rookie. And along with that, he does have proven titles, uh, proven championships in multiple countries. He had, he was a kill count leader in the past. He's won a golden barrel recently. He's just a sheer dominant force when it comes to the game of paintball. I do think there's even like a highlight video of all of his achievements he made over the past couple of years. And it just goes to prove that I really do think you gotta give this number three spot to Justin Rabkoff. Alrighty, now coming in at that number two spot, Got to give it here to Konstantin Fedorov of Houston Heat. Now, reasons why he gets this number two spot is because I'd say he's arguably one of the best players to come out of Russia. Uh, dating back to that early Russian Legion, uh, you know, Philly Americans playing with Art Chaos, Houston Heat. He's proven over the years, I feel that he is one of the best players to come out of Russia. Uh, I know that there's a good core group of guys there that are extremely talented and they do have a really great system of players that are coming out of there. But Konstantin Fedorov, I think, just brings that sheer dominance to the game of paintball. And along with that, I think having his teammates uh, acknowledge the fact that he has that talent and they do give him sort of that uh, presence in the pro league as an upper level player you got to realize that when other players in the pro division are giving him that recognition, he's recognized already as one of the greater players in the game. Uh, but with his history along with that, definitely puts him up there at a top level player. Though he hasn't been, I'd say, uh, top kill counts and stuff like that, he has a proof of clutch clutch plays. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I do believe he's the one pro player who has the most finals appearances out of any player in the league which that alone shows how good he is to be able to get into the finals almost every single time or pretty close to every single time he's going to a tournament. That's pretty impressive to have that sort of commitment as a pro player. Uh, so you gotta give that number two spot, just sheer mentality, sheer winningness, sheer recognition from his teammates. You gotta give that number two spot to Konstantin Fedorov of Houston Heat. Now, before we kick off that number one spot, I wanted to go over a list of some of the honorable mentions that would be, if I was doing a tw top 25 list or whatever of players, uh, this would be some of them that would be included in there. No particular order. I just want to quickly give a mention to these guys who have really recognized or shown that they could be one of the upper tier players. I just could include them on the list. So without further ado, uh, in no particular order, we're going to kick it off here on uh, number one, Mac Jackson. Uh, I think the reason is he's an extremely talented player who has great kill count production. He's brought, I think, AC Dallas to that winning level. Uh, but I just feel like he hasn't won enough. Uh, to consider himself one of the greats, or at least one of the top five players. Uh, definitely an insane player, but just can't have him on this list. Next, we got Alex Rodriguez, or A-Rod. Uh, he's arguably one of the most talented players to step into the game as of late. Uh, runs through the center like crazy, gets crazy kill count. He was in Vegas the top kill count leader, uh, but I just feel like he has a reputation to not make paintball a priority, which is why you can't include him in this top list of the five players. Next, we have Tyler Harmon, crazy skilled, insanely skilled, uh, and brings a level of, level of athleticism to the game uh, that is great to see, but I just think he's missing that special something that makes him that top, top tier player that he could be. Next, Marcelo Margot, easily uh, one of the top 10 or 15 players in the game, without a doubt, but I just feel like he hasn't been that shining star he was in the past. Uh, he could still be, and he still has crazy moments. I just couldn't include him in the list. Next, I included these two together, would be Kyle Spica and Keith Brown. Uh, reasons I included them uh, is because they're super fast, skilled, lethal players, but they're really isolated to that one snake side spot. Uh, so I really couldn't put them in as all around 
the great players. If I was doing a top five snake players, they'd definitely be in there. But it, just because I feel like they're really in that one position a lot, I couldn't include them in the best of the best. Next, Jacob Edwards of Damage. Uh, one of the best players on Damage, I'd say, but not the best player in the league, if that makes sense. Super, super skilled. Uh, crazy, crazy uh, kills. Uh, but I just think there's something missing that can't put him up there in those like top, top uh, athleticism players and stuff like that, but he's super, super skilled nonetheless. Next, Alexander Birnikov, another Russian player, probably one of the more skilled Russian players as well, along with Konstantin Fedorov. I literally just couldn't include him in the top five. I, I, I If I was like a top 10, he'd easily be, be in there, but uh, I couldn't, sorry, plain and simple. Uh, next, Greg Sewers, another high level contract uh, player who I feel like joins any team and he makes them better. I just think he hasn't found a home yet. If you can find a home, maybe it's with Infamous. Uh, but I know he's kind of go, gone back and forth from Infamous, Impact, uh, Heat, so on and so forth, Iron Man. Uh, he just hasn't found a place to really solidify himself as the best of the best. And I feel like hopefully he can figure out that soon. Alrighty, and last to sum up this list here, John LJ Woodley, an insanely talented up the center player. I just feel like he's been in and out of paintball in the past couple of years. So couldn't include him in the uh, top five players, but definitely a top level player as well. Alrighty, so here we are at number one, the best of the best pro players playing in the game today. Drum roll, please. Number one goes to Archie Montemayor of San Antonio X Factor. I know it, I know it, I totally know it. Now, I'm pretty sure you may have guessed this already. Uh, it's just proven over the past couple of years how good Archie is and reasons why I had to give him this number one spot are a few different things. Uh, one, I truly feel that X Factor would not be the same without Archie Montemayor playing with them. He has brought, I feel like, that team to a level of winningness, if that's a word, that makes them so competitive and such a nuisance for other teams to play. It's just the sheer fact that he steps on the field and can really bring that presence to the pro division. Along with that, uh, you got to give it that he has uh, the kill count leader. Uh, he's been a Golden Barrel winner in the past. Uh, MVPs, uh, been MVPs, recent series title winner. He He's recognized as like one of the better players currently in the game playing right now. Uh, and along with that, I could say out of all the players, this is where it's a little bit arguable, but he is legitimately the only player I think that can play anywhere without question like he can go up the center play in the snake play doritos doesn't matter where they need him he can go anywhere and make a serious impact anywhere he steps on the field it's just i feel like if it wasn't for him being on that team and don't get me wrong x factor has a crazy and talented roster from billy bernaccia randy stanzak colt roberts you got to give it up to them they're still a crazy talented team but archie brings that x factor that i feel really makes him the best of the best when it comes to pro paintball right now. He just brings that upper level of mentality, that winningness, that in your face, I wanna win, I wanna beat you no matter who you are, kind of mindset that you need to have when it comes to being the best of the best. So I had to give the number one spot of the best pro players currently playing to Archie Montemayor of San Antonio X Factor. Alrighty guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video of the top five active pro paintball players in the game today. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy. A couple of things before I go, if you want to support the channel, check out some t-shirts up here. I got some long sleeves, t-shirts, different colors available. If you guys want to hit me up for one of those, definitely shoot me a message. I got some different sizes available or I can order some custom colors. Let me know. It definitely helps when you guys are supporting the channel. It makes me want to keep doing things like this. Also, I want to give a special shout out to some new sponsors of the channel here. I'm really excited to team up with. First is Mind Hero with Mind Flow Performance Brain Supplements. Uh, they're a new industry that's coming into the paintball game and they've been showing a lot of support to the players. And it's a new uh, supplement that's gonna help improve the game uh, that you're playing when it comes to paintball. It helps with focus, uh, mental clarity, a lot with memory recall, so it's going to help when you're focusing in game. You can communicate a lot better with your teammates, and it's going to give you that extra boost of energy come game time. 
I'm really excited to be teaming up with these guys. If you check the link out here, or if you check the link down in the description below, uh, go check it out. And if you want to get yourself some mind flow, order through this link and it's going to help support my channel. It's going to help support my hero. Go check them out and super excited to be teaming up with these guys. Along with my hero, I'm also help teaming up with the Airsoft and Paintball Association of Ontario. They've been really helping with the support of the channel, uh, showcasing a lot of the player of the week stuff, sharing a lot of the content. Definitely go give them a check out on Facebook and Instagram. If you like anything paintball, they've been supporting a lot of the industry when it comes to either scenario, speedball tournaments, you name it, they're supporting it. And I'm really excited to be teaming up with them as well. So guys, thank you very much for watching. Give it a like, thumbs up, subscribe, comment below. Thanks again, guys, and I will see you later for more paintball awesomeness. Peace. Link, I'm gonna leave it uh, right here. Check it out or down in the description below. Give it a click. Uh, if you go and check it out there and order yourself. So Comment down below your list of the top five players you think should have been included on here. Dude, let me do this. Uh, they're definitely going to bring a lot of support. I've seen with them helping new players. Uh, they started helping out with the channel here, and I'm super excited to be teaming up with them. I really wish my cat would stop doing that because it's getting super annoying and I'm really excited to be teaming up with them. It gives a lot of benefits when it comes to the game of paintball. Gonna help with improved focus. Dude, you're really annoying me. Off. Don't be a freeze. Oh. Still recording?